Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your girl, Magic Mermaid, and I'm here to give you the Cancer Love Messages reading. Okay, this is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs. Also, this is a timeless reading, so whenever you come to this reading, then it is for you, although I would say that you could make this a Valentine's Day reading, okay? So if you want to follow me on social media or you want to book a personal reading, you can find that information in the description box below. But other than that, just make sure that you guys like, share, and subscribe, and drop your comments below to let me know what you think, okay? And then we can definitely get started. So I want to figure out what are the love messages for Cancer? What's going on in Cancer's love life? What are the love messages for Cancer? Okay, what are the love, you know what? Let me try that again. Okay. What are the love messages for Cancer? What are the love messages for Cancer? Okay, we have Eight of Wands. So we have progress and things moving forward. Okay. Ace of Wands. Okay. The Hanged Man. So it looks like there's progress and things, you know, starting a new, a new beginning, a brand new creative project okay but you are waiting for something you do feel stuck in some sort of position okay so there is a little bit of confusion coming in here cancer and then we have queen of swords and this is you trying to get to the bottom of it and find the clarity in the situation okay and then we have the high priestess and this is all about using your intuition to figure something out so let's go ahead and clarify these okay clarifier for the eight of wands okay so you do have joy and happiness in your domestic life so if you are cohabitating with someone or you have someone that you are in a relationship with then you can expect things to be moving forward in a progressive positive way okay you do have positive expansion happening for you things unfolding you know getting news about stuff okay clarifier for the ace of wands clarifier for the ace of wands okay so and there could be a place where you felt rejected in your love life or, you know, whoever this person is that immediately comes to your mind, Cancer. You know, maybe you felt rejected or, you know, you just felt disappointed or had some sort of regrets. Um, you do get a new start in this situation and you do get to, you know, um, you know, maybe because it's Ace of Wands, it's not you know, set in stone, it's just in the air, but there is an opportunity for things to begin again, okay? Clarifier for the hanged man. Clarifier for the hanged man. Okay, we have five of pentacles okay so there could have been a thing where yes you rejected this situation in the past or that your person rejected you in the past and so you've moved on from that there is hopes of a new beginning but you're kind of just waiting to see what happens you kind of feel stuck in a place you feel stuck um in a mode of just like waiting for things to move forward, waiting for things to unfold, waiting for progress to happen or waiting for some sort of change to come in. And so I feel like that's what puts you in a state of confusion because it definitely like it's all the signs that things are going to move forward, but still um, something just never opens up, you know, how you want it to. Okay, clarifier for the seven of cups. Clarifier for the Seven of Cups. Okay. Yeah, so you're just waiting. Um, Seven of Cups is confusion for some people, but for others, this is a new opportunity. 
Okay, so creating a new opportunity, you're waiting for this new opportunity to happen, to unfold, to, you know, clarify for the Queen of Swords. We have the Six of Pentacles, okay? So I feel like you're having your boundaries this time, Cancer, this time around. You're really being clear on your boundaries about how much you're willing to give about, you know, like I'm not going to be giving all of myself this much to the situation and you're not going to give me the equal amount. So I'm going to be very clear about this. You know, we're not going to get things confused. We're not going to cross any lines. I'm going to have my boundaries and I'm going to make sure I get what I'm owed or what I am supposed to be getting right now in this situation. Clarifier for the high priestess is saying okay temperance so yes okay so you're being passive and you're like i'm just gonna let the good things come to me you're waiting you're allowing things to come to you you're not necessarily trying to overdo it you're not trying to go out there and you know make things happen you're honestly you're just like i'm 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 a goddess, so I'll just wait. You know, whenever you approach a goddess, then you approach with gifts. So I'll just wait. You know, what new do you have in temperance is about allowing things to unfold while remaining patient. So it's like, you're just like, you're staying present. You're like, I'm just going to allow this situation to happen. I'm just going to, you know, I'm going to have my boundaries, but also I'm going to allow this thing to unfold around me. I'm not going to try to press anything out. You know, I'm not going to try to go and figure things out. You know, I'm just going to remain present. I'm going to remain grounded. I'm going to remain in my body. You know, I'm not going to be so concerned with the future. I'm not going to be stuck up on the past. I'm just allowing. Allowing. I have my boundaries up and I'm allowing. So it's healthy allowing. Okay. So what are the love messages? forgiveness yes so this is someone that you guys um separated from in the past and now you guys are coming back together someone is forgiving someone you're forgiving them or they're forgiving you okay redacted but there are things being kept out there are things that maybe are not being talked about there are things that are not being addressed here with the redacted card cancer so you know, there may be some things that you guys could smooth out moving further, okay? And then we have grief and sadness. So there is some grief and sadness here between you and this person, um, probably about whatever happened in the past. And so maybe you want to, you guys want to have an honesty session, or maybe one of you guys is not, you know, talking about the things that happened so that you guys can heal from it. And maybe that's a necessity for you to do right now um cancer is to you know and and you know it could be the waiting periods that maybe this person has to heal from whatever happened before they can or process a little bit before they can move any more further with you or it could be vice versa you need to process a little bit before you guys move further and this could be something with the hangman being there this could be something where the universe is having it on hold because the universe is like no process and then we'll allow things to move forward okay so diversity i like that um we have diversity we have prediction i feel like you knew that you guys would come back together you knew that you guys would you know figure things out and be able to move forward and then we have protection so i'm gonna read for diversity and protection um diversity is turmeric which says I'm here to make a difference in your pantry for a little diversity is needed to shake things up. Old routines have become stale and your magic is a little warm. It's time to add variation to the mundane and take a leaf out my book. So there may be some things about the relationship that needs to be changed. Some of the things that you guys were doing previously will not work for, you know, the direction that the relationship is going on, going in now. So certain things have to change. Okay. Um... 
It says, my magical power can be utilized to remove black magic. Curses will lift when you use my black powder, which is not for consumption. Opportunities for change arise as I remind you that variety really is the spice of life. So there's some changes that you guys got to make to your relationship. And um, there's definitely positive changes coming in for you guys. But what I do want to say is the fact that it mentioned black magic. And then you also got the protection card um is telling me that maybe people have been speaking bad over your relationship or people have been cursing your relationship and literally cursing is just like speaking bad about something and repeating it over and over again to where it's like a song or a curse okay um the salt card says beware time to take responsibility and place protection around you and your loved ones so you may need to do a protection spell you may need to take a sea salt bath you may need to sage your house you may need to uh, Palo Santo, Yerba, Yerba Santo. Um, so it says, do you not realize that you are wide open to psychic attack with nothing in place to defend your energy field? So people may have been attacking you psychically, okay? Which is when they keep on thinking about wanting bad things to happen to you. They keep on thinking about wanting harm to come to you. That is psychic attack because those intentions and those energies actually go out there and when they're repetitive they get stale in the air and it opens you up to psychic attack okay so the strength of another's harsh words thoughts and actions against you has taken its toll and you are feeling drained of your vital life force your personal power has been snatched from under you and your mind has allowed fears and doubts to creep in allow me to absorb the psychic energy that you have unwittingly received sprinkle me around you in a circle toss me across the thresholds or perimeters of your dwelling or carry me in a pocket or pouch i will defend your honor and ensure that you are shielded as your sensitivity increases protection is key as you open yourself up to higher spiritual vibrations so call on me to safeguard you as you work your magic okay so that's what's going on for you cancer I really hope that this resonates with you and I hope that it's a help to you. Um, please let me know what you think and I'll talk to you guys later.